Uh, yeah, I'm working for singles, but I'm trying to put out the first single. Thank you all so much, Lamar Park. Thank you, L.A. Wherever the fuck you came from tonight. <laughs> My name is Peter Sun. I'm from Richmond, Virginia. Oh, no. No, 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 no. This is awful. This is dreadful. This is utterly fucking ruins everything. No! Why? <laughs> and that's why you shouldn't be drinking in studios anyway. It's pointless. I gotta clean up my messes. All right, now play my shit from the fucking top. Um, when I think of my new music, I'm going for energetic, fun, playful, more playful than I've ever been, because I feel like a lot of my music is serious, man. And, and then when you meet me in person, I'm not a serious nigga at all. Coming off of uh, the phone calls, Give Me Anxiety Project, in that moment, I was feeling like I, it was personal things that I had to get out of myself. I didn't really cope with the death of my brother that well. My coping mechanism was making that song, Butterfly. I built it up and then I let it out there. It was definitely a, a weird time, but I feel like right now I'm ready to like have fun. Like the new stuff that I'm making is more fun. It's, it's still real because I can't make music without meaning. So what we setting out to do today is to make the best fucking song in the world, simply. I'm not really trying to shoot for anything. I, I I want a diamond record one day for sure, but right now I just really want to make like some fun shit. I kind of want to just experiment again and like get that joy back of not having the pressure of trying to please everybody. I want to please myself and the people who feel like me and the people who, you know, going through the things I'm going through. Because we talking about, like, next year, we talk about putting out, like, niggas was like, oh, we gonna do a project. He was like, oh, we gonna do a project. Now we gonna do singles. <sighs> so now I'm just going through the singles. Like, which one can be first, like, out of this shit? I'm looking for a joint. That's why I was like, the double standards joint is a joint, because niggas don't like it. <laughs> That's why it's a joint, though. Which one is that? The double standards one. You heard it. You got it, right? Yeah. It's double standards, buddy. This feel like police knocking on the door in 2010. It's like you saying things you want that you don't ever give. But I'm trying to put out the first thing. I come back to that shit with it's double standards. <laughs> and my niggas gonna be like, no, that shit cool, bro. <laughs> they gonna be like, no, that shit cool, bro. That's for the shorties. But if I come back with this shit. <laughs> Perfect timing is that, but it's not. You feel me? It's not yeah. the universe. It's not. Yeah, it's hit, and it hit right there. That's why I said I want y'all to come in there and listen to us. I want everybody to hear you. That's the real dance joint. So this one. Uh, you feel me? I guess that's the one. The y'all did yeah. the. Perfect time it was five. <laughs> well, I guess you guys are right. So much fucking acid in my goddamn chest right now from this shit this morning. <sighs> this is miserable. Mm. <sighs> and I want to smoke so bad. 
<clears throat> but it doesn't feel like the right choice. So if music wasn't picking up, what do you think Sonny would be doing? Art. Some form of art. Some form of art. Fashion, art, like making clothes, making paint, painting yeah. more. I would probably paint a lot more. But... Yesterday was really fun. We got like more shit, <clears throat> more shit done than I expected. And I had a little more fun than I expected. For damn sure. Got good and drunk. I didn't even know I was drinking that damn much. Woo! You motherfuckers act like I'm Bob Ross in this bitch. You are. <laughs> a lot of the time when I'm painting, I'm just trying to like be free with it and not even like, you know what I'm saying, press it too hard or be too serious about it. It's just more so just fuck it. You know what I mean? Whatever comes to mind. I tend to get like, Get like these writer blocks and and all types of shit like that, and it, it helps a lot when you're doing something other than constantly trying to write music or make music, and you go do something else that's creative and come back to that shit. You know what I mean? I honestly, usually, I used to um, whenever I had a block, I would I would like sit around and fucking wait until it was over. <laughs> I like until something came to me. Oh, until something came to me or some shit. And then, um, I mean, it just kind of got to a point where it's like, shit, if I'm trying to do it like that, I ain't never gonna, you know what I'm saying? It ain't never gonna happen. Tomorrow, I want to really buckle down and be on top of uh, that perfect time and join and like really finish that single and. I started that at, at the Red Bull studio. So I want to finish it there. Like, I want to redo the the first verse a little bit. Like, maybe switch a couple words around. It's basically fucking me, a little version of me. Uh, with the bucket hat and the horns and the, and the halo. Put in a little bit of work today. Let's go. Good job, Sonny. You're doing great. pulled up today at the studio we was trying to get this joy perfect time and finished get a second verse laid on that probably add the ad libs and you know fix up the chorus and shit like that Nice long verse. Yeah, right now it's 16, we can shorten it. Yeah, maybe we should. Make it a 12? Yeah. Because you have, like, this is all the same. Yeah, it should be a 12. At the, and then at all of a sudden you have this section right here. Yeah, let's make it a 12. Ain't nobody trying to hear me rap that goddamn long right now. <laughs> Niggas is not trying to hear me rap that long. Bring that chorus back in and let me shake my ass. Nigga, stop playing. If I pop out that's for the dodo. Yeah. Fight off for some promo. Throwing, throwing cake like food. Fight if I pop out that's for the dodo. So we glowing still shining. Alright, whatever. Niggas earlier, we late. Sweater with the beat or the Gucci shirt. I'm getting grown. Watching HGTV, trying to see how they improve the home. Secret rooms for all my toys. They wake up when I'm not at home. Like boys, I be yelling at peace like boys. I be fucking it up. Fuck around, make a fall in love. Tryna stack my down to my cheese, my guala, my squirrel, my bread, what's up? Let her pussy, but I'll slow me up. Can't fit, cut the bag, my bus. I said we. Yeah, that's a good one. Yeah. That's a good one. Like, that was a good one. Perfect timing for me has always meant working hard and counting your blessings, you know, and, and knowing what's coming to you. I always work hard and I don't look for nothing. I just know, you know, what's coming to me because I treat people with respect. I treat people with love, you know, so I expect the same, but you can't always expect that. So I think perfect timing for me is more so just like giving out the shit and giving out the shit and giving out the shit 
and eventually you gonna get yours, but you can't be out here, you know, expecting it and looking for this shit, dog. You just gotta do shit from your heart and keep it moving. Let it push it, but I slow me up. Can't fit, cut the bag like boss. I said we. So I do that. It's like exactly like the the second one. <laughs> <laughs> Should we dub that or is it good? I think we're good. All right, cool. Fuck it. I think that's a wrap. Yeah, this one. I think that's a wrap. Take fifteen hundred and sixty-six. Could you? Uh, I guess play it for the top, James. Yep. Right now I'm feeling really good. We got this perfect timing record pretty much in the bag. I guess it's safe to say it's complete, but I don't know if anything is ever really complete. Could we bring uh, back in those old ad libs that was at, uh, uh, I'll be fucking it, no, I'm fucking it up. Like, uh, or did you delete those? No, they're still there. But you know, with this song, I feel like it's more so just, I wanted to have fun. I wanted people to bounce, I wanted people to dance, I wanted people to feel good. So in that aspect, I feel like, yeah, it's completed. I'm proud of that though. We finished the perfect timing record. I think that's the one we're gonna use for this. And if I'm if I'm right, then it'll start playing right about here. Shit ain't coming when I won't, but it's always perfect time. Glowing still.